Hi, I'm Lorna Illingsworth, Mortgage Advisor for Protection Investment Southampton, and today we're going to look at gifted deposits. Saving for a deposit is the biggest challenge first-time buyers face when buying their first home. One option that can help first-time buyers is if they have someone who's able to gift them some or all of their deposit. A gifted deposit is exactly what it sounds like, a sum of money given to a buyer, typically a first-time buyer, to purchase their home. These are often gifted by family members. The key word is gift. A gifted deposit is not a loan. A lender will normally request that the person gifting the deposit to sign a declaration that they have no legal rights to any portion of the property. A 5% deposit is normally the minimum deposit that most lenders require. However, the larger deposit you have will give you access to a wider range of mortgage lenders and lower interest rates. And as you are borrowing less money, your mortgage repayments will also be lower. Technically, anyone can gift a deposit for a mortgage, but typically family members are more likely to do so. And some lenders will only accept a gifted deposit that comes from an immediate family member. Applying with a gifted deposit is the same process as those applying without a gifted deposit. Although some lenders may have a criteria that specifies where the deposit can and can't come from. Yes, with any mortgage application, the lender will want to know where your deposit is coming from, whether made up of savings, a gift, or from the sale of another property. The lender will also be checking that your deposit is not a loan, which could affect your ability to pay the mortgage payments each month. You'll also need to declare who the money has come from and likely fill out a gifted deposit declaration form. This will state who is receiving and gifting the deposit, the relationship of the giver and receiver, how much is being gifted and confirmation that the gift is a loan and the gift giver will not have any claim on the property. Your solicitor will also carry out legal checks on the person providing the gift to comply with anti-money laundering regulations. Yes, someone can loan you the money for your deposit, but this will be viewed differently to a gifted deposit. The lender will view the deposit as a loan and thus a financial commitment that will be taken into account for affordability calculations. This will then reduce the amount you can borrow and may outweigh the benefit to receiving the gifted deposit. Usually gifted deposits are tax free. All individuals can give away up to 3,000 each tax year without incurring inheritance tax. An unused allowance can be carried forward into the following year. If the amount of the gifted deposit is larger than this amount, or if the person providing your gifted deposit passes away within seven years, it may be subject to inheritance tax. But this is largely dependent on the estate at time of death and the seven years prior. It's most common for first-time buyers to buy with a partner or friend, so it's understandable for those gifting the deposit to be worried what happens to the gifted deposit if it all goes wrong and they split. The best way to protect a gifted deposit, especially if one applicant is putting in a larger deposit than the other, is to draw up a declaration of trust or deed of trust. This is a legal document that can stipulate exactly who gets what if they go their separate ways. If you're looking to get a mortgage soon, please call us on 02380 or visit our website.